getting too damn deep, I think I need myself. It's getting deep, my brother. All, All right, right. We're, we're, we're Little Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> and who are you, young man? Uh, I'm, I'm Ron Young. I'm the lead singer and head poser. I'm Fidel, and I'm the bass player. I'm Earl Slick, and I'm the second to the head poser. Yeah, lead guitar player. Guitar player. <laughs> back there, who's that? Uh, my name's Lauren Dog. I'm definitely not a piano player, but I do play guitar. And let's see. Welcome to Mr. Lauren's Neighborhood. <laughs> hey, kids. Let's, let's see what we have in the road case today. Well, look who it is, kids. It's our drummer, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going down on my knees. Right now, we are down in MCA Studios, where we do our demos, where we write our songs so we can send them off to the big record company with guys in suits and ties, and they go, um, I don't hear any lead-off tracks. <laughs> <laughs> but if one more song, just one more song, another three years, maybe we can make a record. <laughs> and the first record was great. Um, it was really, you know, well produced, and now we want to just kind of make a record as if you were sitting in the room with the band, experiencing the sweat and the spit and the grime and the and the uh, overt sexual connotations. Now, let, let's just clarify things, okay? We love our record company. Our record company has been totally supportive of us. But, you know, a relationship between a band and a record company is like the relationship between a kid and his parents, where you love them, you'll do anything for them, they help bring you into this world, and you love them. But you wish they'd leave you alone and let you grow up. And you have to kind of explain to somebody who's really good at doing demographic breakdowns why a kid gets a boner when he hears a song. Stand up. Never keep us down. Stand up. Don't push me around. Stand up. People can't just see you. Stand up. No, I'm not. No, I'm never going down on my knees. Never going down. No. I've been playing with the band since sometime in May. Uh, I came in to sort of just do like a TV show and a gig, and I haven't gone away yet. And nobody's asked me to leave. You don't audition a man like Earl Slick. Earl Slick is a god, you know. So you just, <laughs> this is my main you, friend, you, Rod. You come down <laughs> and where's my wallet? <laughs> There was this band called Dirty White Boy, uh, and it's signed to this once once upon a time big record company. Uh, and then basically that was the end of us. Uh, we did a record, we did a tour, we had a really nice tour over in Europe, and uh, we came back here and we broke up. <laughs> Very typical LA. I think it's happened to a lot of bands here. You know, they get signed by these labels, and if it doesn't happen within the first two weeks of the album coming out, uh, done deal. You're finished. No, it happens too often. Stand up, people can't to see you. Stand up, no I'm not. No, no, no. No, I'm never going down on my knees.
song that we were recording was Stand Up, and, uh... <laughs> stand up. <laughs> no, not, not, not yet. Not yet. John, boy! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Sorry, Middle America. Stand up,